Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video showing how to close a model, add a tooth, and export them both as a single STL file. First of all, I'm using version 4.82 of the Blue Sky Plan software if you don't have it upgrade from the Blue Sky Bio website. And also we have fantastic complete aligner packages, so if you're doing any ortho cases whatsoever, you can do complete cases including planning and aligner fabrication manufacturing for under $1,000. And small cases start at uh, $4.99, so check that out via the link here and ads in the software. And I'm going to show how the process can be done at no cost. So we have 14.5 credits remaining right now, and let's check this out. I'm going to go into model editing, import models. Here's the ad for the liner package that I mentioned earlier. And I'll go ahead and navigate to a model that I have here on the computer, and I'm going to click OK. This model looks like it's aligned correctly automatically, but anyway, maxilla, dentate, continue to alignment. I'm gonna mark three points, one side of the arch, middle, other side of the arch, continue, and finish. Now I'm going to click close model. We see that the model's now been closed. Just as a side point, if you want to control the height of material that's added, we could see here in preferences, surgical guide generated model base height is three millimeters, which means that it takes the slowest point or the highest point, depending if it's the upper jaw and lower jaw, um, to close the model, and then it adds an additional three millimeters on top of that. So that's what that means over here. We could go ahead, we could see we have our model and if we are going to be printing it and we want to make it a hollow model to save on uh, printing materials and printing time we could simply make sure the model is selected and click hollow model or let's go back to our green model make that visible and active and now let's click hollow model Okay, even better, you don't need to close the model first and then make it hollow. You could just create a hollow model if you like, if you're going to be printing. And now we have our hollow model. Now I'm going to click on Add Tooth. We have our drop down here of different teeth libraries that we want. Okay, I'm going to select the relevant tooth. If we want, we could also multi-select, hold down the shift key and left click to add multiple teeth or just select the relevant tooth, the general size that we want to place and go ahead and click on OK. I now have the cursor turned into crosshairs with a little image of a tooth we could see on the screen. I could left click to drop my tooth in. Did not mean to do that. Let's go ahead again. Left click to drop the tooth in. Here we have in the case, we could go ahead and grab and drag it. We could improve the placement using the module. We could rotate as needed. We could resize as needed as well by grabbing the small nodes. And for our purposes now, I wanna make sure that the tooth is connected to that model so that it's exported as one model, so we wanna make sure that there's an overlap there. We could just extend it to just down into the model to make sure that we have a solid overlap. And now we're going to go to File, Export Data, and we wanna make sure that we have the relevant surfaces selected. So for our purposes, we have our hollow model, or we could just select our, our solid model if that's what we want. And we also have the tooth that we placed selected as well. We added in, in our recent versions the ability to export to OBJ or STL for all extensive purposes. 3D printers accept both of them and can print both of them. We added OBJ because OBJ actually includes more information in the file, uh, in the STL file. It's a kind of like a higher version of the STL file, includes more data. So we've added an OBJ, but you could select either one. Printers could receive OBJ and print with an OBJ as well. Not an issue. You could select the quality, you could keep standard in the vast majority of cases. If you want a larger file with more detail, you could go ahead and click high. But anyway, on the bottom, you wanna make sure that you do not have this box checked. You do not want export separated files to a folder because you don't want separate files. You want them to be combined. So we have these items selected. The checkbox is not checked. We go ahead and click on export. 
Let's go ahead and make a new folder. Uh, let's make a new folder on my desktop. Test export model to combined. And let's go click on save. Okay, I can now go to my desktop. I see the new folder that we made, test export. Double click, here's the STL, here's the OBJ file, the 3D object file that was created. Open it up. And here we have our hollow model with the tooth or with the crown combined. Obviously, you could spend more time with the design and making this look nicer. Uh, but here it is, we've accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. And if we go and check out our number of exports, we still have 14.5 exports. This entire process was done uh, without using any export credits. What I didn't mention also, which I'll just mention very quickly right now, is that if you're not aware, you could actually go into Model Edit, and you could actually change the shape of the model using the Move Outlines option that we have here. So how does this work? First of all, in Surfaces, we want to make sure that we have the hint on. We want to go ahead and switch over to our NPR view so that we have our uh, 2D uh, slices as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the relevant model in our model edit, relevant model, and click move outlines. We hold down the shift key, our cursor turns into these circles. We could change the size of the tool. And we simply grab and drag and watch in 3D as we do this, um, the outline. And we could see that our model updates automatically. Okay, so we've extended the model. I overdid it here a bit. We could um, extend the model upwards if we want to use that to, to uh, meet the crown. 